So I was told that there is indeed a way out of this area, and I guess I just didn't find it. See, if you just look around the edges and jump around, you're not going to find any way out. And if you look all the way, oh, look at that, there's a corner, and you can actually scooch through there if you push along the wall and sliddle. Yeah, it's just that tight of a fit that it makes the camera go all crazy like that. And yeah, so there is indeed a way out of this place. It's just that when I looked through here the first time, I was going around the perimeter like this, and I just didn't find anything. Because if you just push against the, the wall like this, you aren't going to be able to tell what you can scooch through there unless you hit the corner just like that. And uh, apparently I didn't do that. <laughs> Well, anyway, yee, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's kind of sad that I had to do that 100 coin star twice because I didn't know about that, but alas, sometimes mistakes just happen. Anyway, the next world is right here, and depending on how you enter this world determines the water level the world starts out with. So if you enter the world at its lowest spot in the painting, like I'm going to do here, the water is going to be at its lowest part. The reason why I'm going to start at the lowest level is so I can show you around the level, basically. This is Shocking Arrow Lifts. And see these platforms? These would normally float, and there's a Skeeter enemy. It's a pretty quick little enemy that scoots along water, and somehow I'm managing to fail hitting it despite it being stationary. <laughs> and uh, these are the things that control the, the water. This prism-like thing. I don't know what it's called. It's some sort of crystal, but you hit it, it makes the water rise. That's how it works. And you gotta work your way up to the arrow lifts, which are further up. As I said, I'm only starting out with the water level at its lowest, because it's just easier to show you the level that way. So, yeah. <laughs> To just give me some time while I get this set back up here. This is how you would navigate the level, basically. And here's a, a new enemy that you haven't seen before. This is a heave ho. They throw you up behind you. Whoops, I wasn't close enough to the edge there. <laughs> they try to hurt you like that, but you're actually supposed to use them to get to higher levels. And that's what I'm trying to do here, like that. Oh, and those uh, orbs that shoot fire are quite literally known as flame orbs. Uh, these things uh, right here, yeah, those things, just thought I would mention that, because I don't think I mentioned their name either. But anyway, what I'm trying to do here is go over and raise the water level at this spot. Oh, I guess I can't get up there, no, like that, that's a bother, I forgot how to get up there. This world is not one of my favorites, so I'm probably going to be very much out of practice playing this world because of how... I, I just am not that much of a fan of this world. <laughs> uh, it's just because of the annoyance of it. It, it feels a lot like um, the Water Temple of Ocarina of Time, though maybe not to that quite extent. Uh, this is probably too high, actually, but that's fine. I'll be able to move the water, water level to the height that I want to if I go over to this one right here. So now I'm going to slop it down to this level, like so, and now I have access to the shocking arrow lifts platforming puzzle here, because these platforms are at the right height and we are not in water. See, I can't hit that box over there unless the water is at the right height, because you can't, you know, jump to hit boxes underwater. Okay, as for this amp, it seems like it's pretty dangerous, but just, just ignore it. Just completely ignore it. Even if it hits you, just ignore it, and you will be much happier that way. <laughs> and with that, hit the box, get the star, and get out of here. Voila! Here we go. Yeah, the uh, elements of Wet Dry World just don't feel all that good for a platformer, per se, which is why I'm not really that much of a fan of it. Anyway, now I'm going to show you how to ent- I mean, I'm going to show you the difference of entering the painting at a higher spot. Ah, oh, that wasn't too high, but you're definitely going to see a difference in the, uh, the water level here. This is Top O of the Town, and there's another, um, water level razor. Oh, wait, I thought there was- Oh, right, this- this leads to that spot. Okay, I forgot about that. Now I'm starting to remember stuff. That is delightful. And yeah, you're supposed to use these platforms to get to 
that, but I did it the totally opposite way I was supposed to, right? Raising the water and then moving it back down using that one, the last one. So I kind of did that improperly, but yet this game is so open-ended that, in all honesty, it doesn't really matter all that much. So, yeah. As it says by the name of this, we are going to the top of the town. And to do so, I... Oh, uh, normally, if you want to get up there... Uh, without using the switch on the other side, you're supposed to push this crate over to this platform, and then you can raise the water level over. Hey, what the heck happened? What happened there? <laughs> Come on, Mario. One, two, there we go. I was gonna say, why aren't you buckling your shoe? And whatever. And there's a half off the texture shadow. <laughs> And our objective here is to go around this way. Oh, here's a new enemy. This is a Chakya. They try to throw you off the edge and they will throw you like Big Babam will. Uh, if you want to kill them, you gotta go behind them just like Big Babam and throw them on a solid spot and they'll be killed and drop a bunch of coins. Anyway, now you've gotta go up here. I don't like you, camera. You are. Sometimes terrible. What if I were to go to Mario Cam? That might be a little bit better in this case. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. A lot better, actually. Yeah, I got some spinning. I did that seriously. That is what I did here. That's that's the thing that I did of all things. That huge platform I managed to fail to jump on. That's what I did, huh? <laughs> I just. Just gotta accept it and move on, I suppose. Come on. Come on. There we go. You can't, like, grip onto this plank either. That's why I kind of had issues getting on top of it. Alright. <sighs> Hit the shoulder button by mistake. <laughs> it's not that I'm uh, not enthusiastic about playing this level again. I, I suppose it's just that I'm having issues for whatever reason. <laughs> I'm not trying to rush or anything here, it's just I'm making uh, mistakes, is what I'm saying. Come on. Come on. Alright. There we go. Now I gotta shift the camera around. Good. Woo! And there's the star you're looking for. That just took way too long. <laughs> I mean, I should say it took much, much longer than it should have by any means. Alright, top of the town complete, and back in we go, oh, forgot to ch change the water level, oh, it doesn't matter, I'm sp I should start with the water level at its lowest anyway. Uh, secrets in the shallows and sky, this is one of the reasons why I'm not too big of a fan of this level. Um, you know how when you have to hit those red numbers that are hidden around certain areas? Oh shoot, this isn't the one I'm looking for. Well, this is that kind of level, except you have to push certain boxes at certain places, and uh, it also hits certain exclamation point boxes to make the numbers appear. And I'm probably going to suck at finding which ones they are. <laughs> Because I kind of forgot which ones they are, yeah. I don't think these contain any red numbers. So I'm, yeah, I thought so. Uh, around these edges, though, there are a couple of boxes that you can push into the wall, like this one right here. Uh, please don't get in my way, heave hole. There's one of the red numbers. Uh, the other one that I'm thinking of, you go... <sighs> Camera is right there, there's number two. Over here is number three in this box, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Uh, I don't remember where the last two are. I think the other one of them is way, way up at the top. Um, well, I'm going to scout wh where these blue coins appear before I uh, do the 100 coin star. Okay, just around this edge. Just thought I would check that out ahead of time so I don't... Uh, um, mess up on that. By the way, there's a little logo on the side of that thing. I, I, I never really took the time to read that. Hold on a Oh, I was gonna pause so I can see what it looks like, but it it actually zooms out the camera. Uh, what does it say? Uh, I think it says Koopa backwards on the side, so it's probably a mirrored image. Yeah, it definitely says Koopa backwards, okay. And it's got a little picture of Bowser on it, so clearly Bowser made this. <laughs> 
Bowser is in charge of making the heave holes, apparently. Okay, maybe not. It's probably just Bowser branded. No, 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 no. I need you to get up, uppy, higher. There we go. Uh, the other box that I'm thinking of is right up here. Yes, that's number four. Mm, mystery of mystery is of what dry and where does the solution lie? The city welcomes visitors within the depths they bring as they enter. Oh, that's hinting at the painting that if you enter at different levels, it will. Uh, give you different heights of water just to speed things up. You don't need to enter the painting at any specific level, but it certainly makes things ha uh, handier. Is this the last one? Yes, it is. Okay, so I guess that wasn't as bad as I remember it. Hmm. Maybe this world isn't so bad after all. <laughs> I don't remember... Uh, I mean, I, I'm having a pretty easy time with this world, so... Hmm. Maybe it was just my initial uh, impressions Oops, of this level that I had that kind of skewed my future thoughts as to how this level really is. You know, that, that first impression that kind of sticks with you, but... Yeah, I guess this is okay, overall. So, anyway, here we are. I can jump up there, can't I, from here? I think I can. Nah. I'm not Thomas the Train, apparently. Oh, I gotta use this platform. Well, I, I could use this platform. I think I'm able to jump up to that edge the other way, but anyway. Oh wait, what's in here? Oh, coins. Well, there's a star. Woo! Here we go! Sweet! Alright, um... Let's see what the next one is. I forgot to... I keep forgetting about the water level. <laughs> Express elevator, hurry up! Um, I think that's that cage right at the beginning, actually. So I'm gonna have to work my way up there with the water at the lowest level, I think. Oops, wrong... Wrong crystal again. There is a bunch of these crystal-y thingies around there. See that the box concealing the opening? Um, if I break that, I'll be able to open that up a little bit ahead of time, because I think that's where I have to go. I'm just gonna scout this out. Eh! Scout this out ahead of time here, just to see where I'm in, what I'm into. Oh, shoot. Because I think there is a thing up here that's blocking the star. Yup, okay. So, how do I get that down there? <laughs> I kind of forgot. Well, I can use the heave holes to get to the higher area, I know that. Come on. Up we, up we go. There we go. No, 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 no! Ah! <laughs> well, that's sort of unfortunate, but, eh, well. It just kind of happens sometimes, because you, because you can't see what's up there. Uh, can I leave you somewhere that isn't by the other one? You know, just so I'm not killed by the other one unexpectedly. Come on, wind yourself up. Let's go to this side. No, no, don't you stop it. T turn where I want you to turn. There we go. I hope the other one isn't nearby. Okay. That worked out. <laughs> okay, now over here is what I think I'm supposed to do. Thinking isn't knowing, though, so I guess we're about to see. Okay, you get on uh, this. I... what? Ah, oh, there it is! There we go! It was one of those two. <laughs> and you go... Oh, no, 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 Down, please, Mario. Oh, freaking... <laughs> okay, I should probably get... Let this elevator go down and get myself in position. Wait, how does this work even work? Look at this. That pole that's connecting both of them is going through... the cage. Ah, I probably shouldn't question the game logic. <laughs> okay, let's get down here quickly. And wall kick. Oh, shoot! No! No, you don't! Okay. A little worried that I wasn't going to make it in time. And there we go. I think this is the right star. Yeah. Correct. Indeed it was. And with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Oh!
no! Because I questioned the game logic again, the universe is exploding again! 